Greetings, everybody. Please turn your King James Bible to Isaiah chapter 31. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Isaiah 31, verse 1. All right, verse 1. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses, and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. See, their problem was they were looking at the strength of arms of flesh instead of trusting into the arms of the Lord. Verse 2. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians now the Egyptians are men and not God and their horses flesh and not spirit when the lord shall stretch out his hand both he that helped both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is holpen shall fall down and they all shall fall together now let's take a look at second kings Chapter 6 and verse 8. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. And the king of Israel went to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there, not once nor twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? In other words, he thought there was a spy in his midst that was warning the king of Israel, of his plans. Verse 12. And one of his servants said, None, my lord. In other words, no, there's no spy. They said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. In other words, it's Elisha the prophet. Oh, that's your problem. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. So here it is, he sent a, a fair, you know, a large army. Verse 15. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host, an army, and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? So here it is, the prophet's servant is like, Oh boy, look what's going on. We're surrounded. What in the world are we going to do? 